<laughs> what is up guys joel here back with another city of tweak and today we're actually going to be talking about a keyboard tweak called color keyboard for ios 7. now if you're not aware with this tweak this is actually an older tweak that just recently got updated for ios 7 and it was probably one of my favorite ones because it allows you to customize your keyboard so there have been plenty of keyboard tweaks and this is probably one of my favorites so you see here i have a custom keyboard i have a silver background with some black keys and some red little keys here for the space bar and shift bar or shift button and all that good stuff. But if I go ahead and open up my notes here and we go here, there's my little favorite uh, little, I don't know, smiley face, I guess you could say. But you see that I have a different background. That may look a little familiar because that is actually my background, my wallpaper. So you can do plenty of things with this keyboard for iOS 7. Now if we go ahead and open up color keyboard in the settings, you'll be able to enable and disable it, of course. So we'll wanna go ahead and enable that tweak. Now right below that, we do have select themes. So you'll be able to select a variety of different themes on here. So we have black, pink, nude, and then I'll kinda of go through all these. If you hit the little uh, information button right there on the right, you'll be able to simply get a quick preview of it. So you see here, we have plenty of different uh, keyboards here. This one loads right here. This one's gonna be the pink one. We also have pink nude, which is basically just gonna exclude the actual keys and just give you the letters. And then, I mean, if we go down, we have, I guess, these IMAT keyboards here, which looks pretty cool. And we go down and look at this one. This one's pretty cool, green and black. Black and green, black and red. I think that's like my favorite combos. Uh, but here's a red and black one right here. So this has red keys with the black background. And going down, turquoise. Um, this one did not pop up. Oh, there it goes. So you got turquoise keys with black uh, letters. And we just scroll down. And right now, the one that I have enabled is going to be black and red. So you do have black keys. And then you have like a red accent uh, like up top of the keys. And then you have these red keys at the bottom. So that's just a quick little look at these different keys. So here's a black and blue one here. So you get plenty of different keyboards that you can choose. And then down here you do have the plugin. You can change the background OPEC uh, to white or black. And I'm just gonna disable that or just leave it unchecked. So now we go back. And something that I kinda wish that they did is uh, you don't have to respring your device because every time you select a new theme you have to respring it. So right down below, we also have the ability to customize the background. And right now I have the enabled custom background for the iPhone standard. So that means whenever you're like in an application, uh, you'll be able to, if it does support landscape mode on your keyboard, then you'll be able to change different things on here. So we just simply go, I have it green, which is looks a little funky. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and change the landscape background to this uh, background, which is my wallpaper. And then right down below on the iPhone alert, if we go in there, we'll be able to change uh, the portrait mode. Right now I have it set to silver. And and then the landscape background, which I mean, I actually couldn't get this to work because I believe it only works whenever it comes to like spotlight. Um, and maybe when something, I don't know, pops up on your iPhone, which would hint the alert uh, word right there. Um, but Whenever I do change that, I'm gonna go ahead and respring real quick. So let's go ahead and check out the background. So right now I just pull down Spotlight, and as you remember, I did have the silver background selected, and then this blue and black keyboard. And then if I go ahead and open up my Notes application, for example, I'll be able to see the different background, the green background, and if, remember, I did do the landscape to my little background there. So you see there, it changes to two different backgrounds. So you can change it from portrait to landscape, which is pretty cool and it works fine. It works perfectly. Um, so I see there, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. So you will be able to add different images. You can add it from your camera roll or just simply take a photo if you wanted to uh, and then add an image as your background. So you can customize it the way you want. And now below that, you actually have a theme gallery. So these themes, You'll be able to download straight from Cydia or some of them, for example, this one you can just simply search 
uh, IMAT uh, Lightwood, and then uh, you'll be able to download that theme here, there. But if you scroll down here to a couple of these, like for example, the WP7 uh, Cyan Gray, you'll have to actually download that from a certain link right there. So that'll then that'll allow you to simply use that keyboard. And then there's some other keyboards here, Fat Book Air. And then that, again, you had to download from this link right here, which this looks like a MacBook Air, which is pretty cool. But other than that, that is basically color keyboard for iOS 7. But other than that, that's going to be color keyboard for iOS 7. You can find it in the Big Boss repo for $199. It's compatible on your iOS 7 running device, uh, except for iPads. It doesn't have iPad support yet, but that should be available soon, I would assume. Uh, but this is one of my favorite tweaks that I've been using quite a bit back in iOS 6 and iOS 5 um, And now it's available on iOS 7 So I definitely recommend checking this out because it gives you a new Keyboard that I mean you can actually customize it yourself So let me know in the comment section below what you think about this tweak and as always go ahead and hit that like button If you did like this video not only helps me but it supports the channel as well and lets me know that you want to see more uh, City of tweaks or more individual city of tweaks more often and also, if you're not following me yet on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or Instagram, all of the links will be down below in the description. So go ahead and follow me on all of those, uh, especially on Instagram and Twitter because I post and tweet a lot. And if you're following me, you probably already know that. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so if you feel like being awesome. And that way you'll be notified with all of my latest videos. But other than that, guys, appreciate you guys for watching. And I will catch you all on the next video. All right.